So um, spring is here and, and I think under the circumstances of the year we've had, this spring has actually made me think about a few things, made me reflect on a few things. And this all started off with my preparation for spring. Um, I decided this year that I wasn't going to spend so much money on buying uh, seedlings that I would actually plant, you know, seeds and try and develop my own seedlings. But as I was doing that, um, the timing was essential. The correlation between when I planted so that I could get the seedlings in time, so that they would meet spring and then they would flourish during summer was all important. Um, and, and, and as I was thinking about that, I realized that everything has its timing. I extended this to the idea of the gestation period, nine months of, of a child in a mother's womb. I extended that even further to think about my daughter who's growing. And she's six years now, and every year she grows more in terms of physically, but she also grows more in terms of knowledge and, and, and the level of information that she's gathering. And I then retranslated that to my business, a business that I've just started. A business that's been around for a while, but I began to realize that there are several things that I need to consider when I'm actually going into business and trying to get the results I'm looking for. And that big one is about timing. In the same way that I don't go to the seeds and force them to actually start shooting up before they're ready. I don't push my daughter in terms of trying to have her grow quicker than she's actually growing. I have to start thinking about how it is that my business is actually going to grow in its time and the timing related to the business itself as opposed to the timing related to what I expect. In the same way as you wouldn't go to a mother after four or five months and say, yes, I mean, really, what's taking so long? Why is the baby not coming? You have that sense of there's an spe uh, expectation over a period of time. So I've had to learn to give this time. I've also learned to, in order to understand how much time, to go to others and ask the question and say, listen, what is the story about business and how long does it take? To go to some texts and start reading about what is the sustainability and the, the grounding of a good business, how long does that take? And what should my expectations be during that process? In the same way as when the seedlings come, you're now ready to plant, and then you're now ready to watch them blossom in the same way as the baby from five, six, seven, eight, nine months is now ready to be received. We all have to go through this timing and patience and understanding process of what it takes in order to get what we're looking for. So I'm urging you that whilst you're going through your business, whilst you're going through your processes, just understand that everything is relative to time and try and relate what you're doing back not to the expectations that you have, the goals that you may have set that were fixed, uh, but more to the timing and the process. Look at how far you've come. Look at what you've put in. When I start doing that in the business, I realize that it's not just necessarily about an end result, but it's also about what's come before, what I've been able to put in in the time that we've been going through this process. That gives me a little bit more encouragement, that gives me a little bit more spirit, that gives me a little bit more sense of, you know, accomplishment, which is very important. I urge you to do that. All the best as you go out there, particularly in your businesses.